Morning Grosvenor, morning kids. Today we're going to be uh, looking at the parable of the lost sheep. You know, I love the way Jesus teaches using parables. They're like little stories that make us think about the meaning and so we can check that we're doing things right. 2,000 years ago, Jesus would have loved walking around where he lived and um, he'd have loved seeing the sheep and the shepherds that looked after them. He'd have probably also noticed that sheep aren't the cleverest of creature and they've got this natural tendency to try and escape from the beautiful fields where they've been put just to look for something a bit better and quite often they do wander off and they find somewhere that's not very nice at all and they need to be found again. So Jesus was in town one day and crowds of people as usual were gathering round to see him and um, not just to see the miracles and have healings done but also a lot of them really loved the way that Jesus taught them because um, he brought something really new to them because up until the, when Jesus came the religious teachers weren't that kind to people in fact they were they were bullies and they really put people down and they all they were interested in was telling people how bad they were and how useless they were and how that God didn't love them um, and they had to do lots of laws which were really difficult to keep whereas Jesus was coming and he was giving them some beautiful good news that it didn't matter how bad they were Jesus and God still loved them because they were his children. Now this meant that Jesus spent a lot of time with people that the religious teachers thought were bad and were sinners and shouldn't and no no kind of religious teacher had any business being with those naughty bad people but Jesus thought differently and he spent most of his time with these people because those are the ones that needed his time. So these teachers are really mad at Jesus because Jesus was uh, teaching this new way about God and um, and because Jesus was saying that he was teaching from God they really disagreed and they said how can someone from God be spending so much time with such sinful people that's not how it works Jesus could hear them so he knew what they were thinking he knew what they were saying but rather than Jesus argue with them and explain it he did it by way of uh, telling a parable. And this was the parable of the lost sheep. Oh, I'm gonna count these sheep, should be a hundred. One, two, oh, it's making me ever so tired counting sheep. One, two, miss a few. 96, 97, 98, 99. 99, should be a hundred, there should be a hundred. Got one missing, let's go look for him. Excuse me, Muriel. Have you seen Barbara? I can't see her anywhere. Everyone else is here. Have you seen Barbara? Anybody seen Barbara? Barbara? No, Barbara. <laughs> Eunice, can you tell all the other ladies, all you 99, stay here in this safe field. Don't go anywhere. And I'm going to look for Barbara. Stay there. So kids, imagine you were the shepherd, the good shepherd, and you'd have 100 sheep, but you just notice one's missing. You'd go everywhere. You'd put the 99 back in the nice safe field, and you'd go looking for that sheep, wouldn't you? So let's look for Barbara. Oh, hello. Hello. Have you seen Barbara? They haven't seen Barbara. Have uh, you seen Barbara? What's that? Ask the chickens. They might have seen him. All right, we'll ask the chickens. Let's see if Barbara is in the chicken house. Barbara, are you in here? Oh, there's no sheep, but there are some nice eggs. Don't tell anybody, chickens. So, Jesus says that he's the good shepherd and we're his sheep uh, and he looks after us. Do you know what? Jesus knows every tiny, last, little, minute thing about me and about you. He knows my name and your name. He knows how many hairs are on top of my head. He knows my voice. He's been calling me by name since before I was even born. So he knows everything about me. If 
I get lost. He's not just going to leave me lost, he's going to search high and low, night and day, and he will not give up until he's found me, or until he's found you, or he's until he's found any one of his children that are lost. Chickens? Now, have you seen Barbara the lost sheep? Have you seen Barbara? No? Have you? They're saying something, but I think it's no. What's that? Ask the dog. I think they're saying ask the dog. Nobody is too bad. Nobody's too far away from Jesus to stop him coming looking for them and rescuing them. You can't be too far away and you can't have been too naughty. Whether it's you yourself or your friends or your family, just remember, don't give up like those religious teachers did back in Jesus' day. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep looking for those lost friends and people. Let me ask Maya if she's seen the lost sheep. Maya, have you seen my lost sheep, Barbara? She's asking her friend. Maya, have you seen the lost sheep? Come and help me find the lost sheep. The bit I love about the end of the parable is where the good shepherd eventually, after searching day and night, finds the little sheep. And he's so pleased that he uh, picks him up, puts him on his shoulders lovingly, carries him home, calls all his friends for a big rejoicing party. Rejoice, the lost sheep has been found. <laughs> <laughs> and now I put her on my shoulders. <laughs> and we go home rejoicing. <laughs> now we're off for a celebration, aren't we, Maya? I mean, um, Barbara. Um, can you imagine, kids, the party? Jesus says that big celebrations happen in heaven every time a sinner comes back. Um, and is saved. So can you imagine the party that goes on in heaven? One day I want to party up there with Jesus and with you guys. So don't ever give up praying for your friends that are lost. When you do, tell Auntie Paula all about it and she can tell me. Should we go and look for some more lost sheep now, Maya? Should we have one more watsuit? This costs a lot of watsuits, this film. Bye.